Now, after Mass, the procession is going to have two stops. Firstly, we're going to stop in front of the parish administration building, unveil and bless the new Mary statue, and have an official renaming of the parish administration building to the Father Jeff McGowan Center for Stewardship and Evangelization. Isn't that nice? Because administration building sounds too boring for a guy like Father Jeff, right? <laughs> and then after that special moment of blessing, we'll all walk over to the Father Walsh Parish Hall for the ministry fair. So if you want to greet Father Jeff and meet Kyle De Palma, you're going to have to come to the hall <laughs> and learn more about the 60-plus ministries that are calling your name this weekend. And so I'd like to turn the microphone over to Father Jeff and he'll share a few words of love and remembrance with us. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thank I don't, I think most of us realize or remember that yesterday uh, they added Tim Tebow's name to the circle of honor up above the uh, Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. And he said, uh, first of all, he wants to thank his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, but then he gave words that uh, really resonated with me today. He said, um, I love you. And I am so grateful that you love me back. And that's my feeling when I come home to Queen of Peace. <laughs> my, uh, my heart will always be here. When I made a 30-day retreat, silent retreat, with a spiritual director up in Maryland right after I left. Um, he gave me a series of scriptural passages to reflect on, and one of those was Jesus washing the disciples' feet. And what came to me was that the last weekend I celebrated Masses here, I could feel my chest heaving. And I thought, oh, God, don't, I don't want a scene here. I just, I, and I couldn't say anything because I was afraid if I did, I might cry. And that made me think that as Jesus washed the disciples' feet, it wasn't some sweet gesture with a server holding the towel and taking the pitcher and, of nice water. My, my, I suspect, mixed with that water, were Jesus' tears. And I'll never read that passage again and not think of how difficult it was to leave all of you and how after 24 years, most of my best friends are here. And I'm two hours away physically, but my heart is here. <clears throat> okay, so that, that's enough for that. <laughs> We're about to dedicate a one-of-a-kind statue generated or created by the same artist who did all the other uh, art pieces in our church, the Mary, the Joseph, the Stations, the Holy Family. Uh, it's Mary as a loving mother looking at her beloved children. And not a stiff woman with a crown, but a beautiful, loving, young mom. I was hearing confessions once, and a woman came in and confessed impatience with her five children. And I suggested she 
you know, think about Mary as she's considering being patient with her children, because surely Mary was very patient. And she looked at me without blinking and said, Father, sure, Mary, her with only one, and him so good. <laughs> but let's consider Mary, and I'll ask you to help me with that. And just after each phrase I say, just say, Mary kept going. Mary kept going. She lived in a beautiful but very small town where everybody knew everybody's business, and she was very inconveniently pregnant. Joseph must have broken her heart when he said he would divorce her quietly. They reunited and they went to Bethlehem, found no place to give, deliver her baby except a stable. He kept going. She and Joseph had to get their son out of the, their home and be refugees to Egypt for his safety. She met her son, bloodied, beaten, and falling under the weight of his cross on his way to Calvary. She stood at the foot of that cross as her son died a torturous, miserable, painful, horrid death. She was there for, his, for the coming of the Holy Spirit. We could all fill in the blanks in between even from the scripture stories we know. The point is Mary, through good times and bad, just kept going. And that's what we do in our lives, in our relationships, in our work, in our schools, in our sports, whatever. We just keep going, and we're assured, as she was, of good news in the end.